prime minister's carbon tax is adding more to the cost of nearly every basic necessity that anyone in this country buys anywhere. It's not complicated for Canadians. When you tax the farmer that grows the food and you tax the trucker that brings the food, you end up taxing the family that eats the food. Every single family everywhere in the country. It is, however, a difficult concept for liberals and their NDP masters to comprehend. It's because they don't talk to people anymore. You see, the MPs who are being forced to defend the indefensible over there are just about pulling their hair out right now. If you listen to them, they'll jump down your throat and huff and puff and spout misinformation about rebates and money that you're getting back. But, Mr. Speaker, they're using liberal math. It's liberal math that says an Ontario family that pays $1,674 gets back $1,047. And they'd say it's, they're better off. It's liberal math that says the Albertan who pays $2,943 and gets back $2,032 is better off. It's liberal math. Like some bizarre fantasy telling Canadians that less is more and they are somehow better off. This is the same liberal math that tells Canadians that budgets will balance themselves, that money, monetary policy isn't important, and that $60 million for a Rive scan is some kind of accounting error. Mm -hmm. Mr. Speaker, Canadians don't live in liberal land. They live in the real world. They look at their empty fridges at home. They look at the price of gas at the pumps. They don't do liberal math. They do real math. The real math is getting harder and harder every day as budgets and bank accounts and borrowing are stretched to the limit for everyone. In her scrutiny of the prime minister's carbon tax and its repercussions on Canadian households, Melissa Lantzman voices profound apprehensions. Her discourse delves into the profound ramifications of political choices on personal well-being and genuineness. In essence, Lanceman's address, emanating from the struggles of an economically strained Canadian, encapsulates human anguish, authenticity, and the intricacies of contemporary society. Lanceman's expressions seem to echo democratic ideals such as fiscal prudence, restrained governmental interference, and a skeptical stance towards liberal policies. Her words, portraying a Canadian grappling with fiscal burdens imposed by governmental levies, are construed as aligning with conservative tenets of individual and economic liberties. Emphasizing the significance of a real math, Lanceman underscores objective truth and empirical substantiation over ideological narratives. Her call to revert to this real math can be construed as advocating for truth and transparency by highlighting societal issues. Lanceman's oration emerges as a conservative dissent against governmental encroachment and policies detrimental to ordinary citizens.